Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy and today's card is another light up card that I did with my son Johnny and we used um, some Lawn Fawn products and some My Favorite Thing products to make this hilarious cow getting beamed up by an alien spaceship. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna, of course, do our front panel, our background, and I am using uh, Newton's Nook Cloudy Sky Stencil and I'm gonna tape this down and I'm not worried about that I'm taping over the top part of my card a little bit because I'm gonna to need to cut that off for the pull tab to this card. So uh, Distress Oxide inks in Mermaid Lagoon and Tumbled Glass. So the top is Mermaid Lag Lagoon and then I'm going to fade down into Tumbled Glass. Um, and I'm gonna go down pretty far on this card because it's gonna be a lot of sky because we've got this alien spaceship. Um, but you could you could do the whole card. I mean, it doesn't matter because you're gonna cover up whatever part you're not gonna see. So tumbled glass, blend that out. Um, and look at how cute that is. I love that it's a white sky and blue clouds. Okay, so now I'm gonna use um, Grassy Hills dyes. No, yes. Hillside Borders. This is from Lawn Fawn. Grassy Hillside Borders. And I am using Simon Says Stamp Green Leaf cardstock. And I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and get myself two layers of grass because that's all I want for the bottom of this card. We're going to have some little farm animals out grazing, and this poor little cow is going to be taken by this uh, little alien, and it is going to be funny. So I'm going to ink up my Using my Misty, I'm gonna ink up my stamps, stamp that onto some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, and I'm gonna be coloring with my Copic markers. So once I get a really good inked image, stamp it a couple times, I like a good crisp black image. Also, I am going to be using some acetate, and this is Judikin's um, acetate and I'm going to be stamping with stays on black ink because you need to use a stays on product otherwise your ink will not dry on this plastic it'll stay wet forever and smear and it's awful so I'm going to stamp that out and I will die cut that so here's the colors of the markers that I'm using and I'm going to turn on some music sit back and enjoy
So now that I'm done coloring those, I realized I did need a little flag because I want this goat to hold a white flag. I used the coordinating dies and cut those out. Now here is the little um, spaceship and I uh, taped it off because I want to stamp a little eyeball. Um, so it's just a little alien with one little eyeball in this spaceship. So I just masked it off with some painter's tape because that's usually what I have on hand. And then I'm just gonna color him real, real quick, super fast. He's a blue alien with a big old eyeball. Then I realized I needed another piece. You know, sometimes when you're doing a card, you don't realize how many um, things you need for your card. So I stamped the um, hay and we are going to color that up with um, a couple colors. I used, I think I used Y11 and Y23, I think. Um, but just a quick coloring on that, use the die cut, cut that out. So now I'm gonna kinda lay out some, glue some of this down so I can die cut the slider piece to this light up card. This is a slider. Um, I am using the slide piece from the Lawn Fawns Double Slider Surprise. I'm going to line up where my cow is and where the spaceship and the front piece of grass. That front piece will be popped up on foam tape. But I'm lining everything up so I know where to tape my slider opening, if that makes sense. Um, I wanted to do this after because you want everything colored and glued because this is going to be behind your slider. So when you lift your slider up, everything is cohesive. You still have um, the cloudy sky and the piece of grass in the background. So ran that through my die cut machine and you'll see here when we take this piece out, it will fit behind this front panel on the back panel piece. So I'm just gonna put in a few of my pieces here um, before we get going on the part with all the lights. And Johnny is gonna explain that, but we're not quite there yet. So adding some foam tape to this front piece of grass, because of course you want a little bit of dimension. I want my goat kind of tucked into the grass. And you need this cow to be lifted up a little bit so he can slide, well, not slide, be beamed up under this UFO. So here are my few pieces that I'm gonna adhere and I actually end up moving this goat and the piece of hay, and the pile of hay. We've got this cute chicken sitting on top of the hay, but this goat holding this surrender flag absolutely cracks me up. He just doesn't wanna get beamed up, poor little guy. So gluing everything down, I lined up my back. This is my, our, our slider piece that's gonna slide up and down. It's a little, it's wider than the opening. I'm lining that up behind my card and I'm taking the stencil and making it match the front part of the card. So when it's down, everything is cohesive. So just, and I wasn't worried about making a mistake because it's the stencil, everything's lined up good. So adding some little foam pieces to the sides of the spaceship because you don't want anything um, over the opening, the die cut opening that we have for the slider piece to slide up. So just on the sides of the UFO are little pieces of foam tape. I did double pieces of foam tape. I had to check there for a second. It was doubled up because you need it to be tall enough. Push that down really good and there you can see behind. Okay, so now Johnny is gonna get started on this card. This first piece is where the battery is going to go and I'm going to let him finish telling you. Yeah, so this is the battery compartment. It's a little flap and then now we're going to get the copper tape and if I can get it open, it's really, it's really sticky. So this is the positive side so it has to go on the top of the flap. So then I'm folding it out and then folding it back into angle it and doing that twice and then yeah, twice and bringing that down to the side because this is where the, the the slider has to have a copper tape across it so that it lines up with this it'll make more sense in a little bit um, so this goes along the side of the track and that connects up directly to the battery and then using the bone folder and flattening it down so that it's all clean edges and it's completely stuck down to the paper so it doesn't come off And I stopped the copper tape short of the bottom so that when it's in its neutral position, when the cow's down, it stays completely 
um, off. And this is now the uh, negative side, so it's on the bottom side of the flap, which connects directly to the battery. Uh, not the battery, sorry, the light. So the battery to the light. Um, and then now I'm taking this piece and going along the opposite side, and this is the side of the positive um, light, positive side of the light of the tape, so that when the two pieces of copper touch on the side of the um, die cut opening, it will connect and it'll give you power. Flattening that, that down again with the bone folder, all of it. Going over it a lot. And then now I'm taking half. Yeah, so I'm cutting the copper tape in half because it recommends you can use it in halves, the copper tape in half. Um, this is because it's very small where the light needs to go. If it was a bigger opening, I wouldn't really worry about it. So this is just the the half of it, connecting it from the negative side um, into the bottom of the spaceship. Because I put it on the back side of the of the of the UFO, the kind of the front piece of paper, because the light needs to be facing down instead of it dragging wires, just leaving it floating in space. I put. Um, it on the back side. And now I'm doing the same thing for the positive side. Flattening it down, folding it over with the bone folder and make sure it's all flat. And he's attaching it to the other positive side of the copper tape on the side of where the opening is. Mm -hmm. And that's the light right there. So that goes, the top side is the negative and the bottom side is the positive. Um, it'll, it has little definitions on it. Um, so I'm putting that there, make sure it's completely flat and touching it without touching the positive to negative. And then that's now the little battery, also positive to positive and negative to the correct side. Now I put a little piece of copper tape across to see if it connects. And this is the slidey, the slider piece. And the copper tape goes there and the cow covers it and need to be extra wide slider. It's wider then and you have a piece across the bottom because as you're pulling it up, it's gonna touch both sides of copper tape on each side of that opening, which is what makes the light light. So put it there Just and like then that. I test it. And now it's flowing. So when you slide it up the whole time, it should keep the, the flow of the electricity just kind of keeps running. And now I'm getting the um, foam tape and layering it twice, doubling up the foam tape and putting it in the little battery flap to keep it from uh, touching or sliding around inside the little envelope. So then I'm using this score tape and then I'm layering it, layering, layering it, tongue twister, to keep it super tight down. And then now I'm actually using a double layer of foam tape and putting copper tape above that because it needs to have a lot of pressure. So it's kind of like a little step up to keep the battery touching. So there's a foam tape on the top piece of the flap. So when we tape it down with the score tape, it has a constant pressure on the battery because we will not be pushing the battery to get the light going. So we need constant pressure so that way when we slide up the slider and the copper tape meets, the light goes. So we need good firm pressure. So you need to put a piece of foam tape on the top of the battery flap. And it doesn't mess up the, it doesn't give like a little bubble on the front of the card if it lines up you're going to be putting three layers of foam tape around it. Yeah. So I'm lining up my front card panel to my card base so I can insert that little piece that we die cut out. I would ran some um, um, tape behind that to adhere it. So now I am going to line up all this foam tape. I'm going to surround the slider piece so it doesn't wiggle side to side too much, but you don't want it so tight that it's hard to slide up and down. So I left a very tiny margin between those pieces of foam tape. And then I also put a piece at the bottom 
because I only want this to slide down so far because the cow is going to be hooked to it if that makes sense on the front. So you can see there when you press up the light comes on so the connection is working fantastic. So I'm moving that bottom piece up just a little bit um, and then I'm going to take some of that tape and surround the I'm sorry the insert piece that goes on the card base. This is going to be three layers as well. Now the trick to this is when you take the sticky part off you will also need to put a piece of thin cardstock trim down to the same width and length of these um, stacked foam tapes because you want a slick surface for the pull tab to glide across. The reason why we're putting these three pieces of foam tape on each side so it has pressure so the copper tape touches. So here I'm going to peel this off. I've just cut some white cardstock I'm going to put on top. Uh, make sure nothing is sticky and this is where the um, slider piece is going to be sliding across if that makes sense. So it's going to push up against the back of the card so the slider piece with the copper tape touches the two sides of copper tape. So as you can see there that slides in. When I lay stick this on top again that back layer has three layers of foam tape which you need when you're using these lights. So I'm going to adhere this down over that center piece. <laughs> Johnny needed to help me there because it was kind of sliding around everywhere. Lining it up at the bottom and that piece is in and when you push this down and you start lifting it up you can see all the background pieces are together, the colors, the clouds, the grass. So see when you lift it up now there's pressure pushing up on that. Now don't worry about seeing that copper tape because the cow will be covering that. Isn't that so fantastic and fun? This was such a fun card you guys. So now I need to adhere the rest of my images. I glued on the beam the beam um, with some liquid adhesive at the top and attached it to the spaceship and you do not notice the liquid adhesive. It's not really hooked anywhere else but still the cow slides underneath it. Now I put a piece of foam tape underneath the cow and attached it to the bottom of the slider piece. Not don't attach it to your actual card. Attach it to the slider piece so when you pull it up the cow goes up. Now I've attached the other spaceship and I'm attaching the little lines that make it look like he's taken off into outer space. So I'm using my white gel pen adding some details to some of the animals and to the spaceships. Um, I do end up adding some drops to the spaceships here and a little bit to the little lights. But right now just adding some white gel pen. I also use my black glaze pen for the eyes of all the critters and even the cute little aliens because their eyes needed to pop out too and that glaze pen is perfect for that. So this is um, diamond stickles from Ranger that I added to the lights because I needed to be a little bit glittery and then I needed to add the sentiment that says beam up some fun and I'm going to trim that out on some white cardstock and add that to the other alien ship and he's beaming up the sentiment. And then you can stamp whatever you want on the inside of the card. So now I had originally stamped on this pull tab to pull here. Um, I didn't like how it looked. So from um, Lawn Fawn's double slider surprise, here's a little handle, not a handle, a little pull tab. And I'm just adhering it to the pull tab itself. The pull tab is bigger than um, this little piece that we're adding on but that does not bother me at all. So I'm just adhering that with some um, tape runner and it sticks up a little bit now you now you can pull and it's great. So let's check it out in the dark you guys. So as soon as you lift that cow up the beam goes and the cow goes up. I just love it. It's so fun. I hope you guys really liked this card and I hope that we explained it good enough. Sometimes it can get a little complicated but this was kind of easy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, if you like what you've if you if you like what you've seen, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
Um, I do have some affiliate links, but it costs you nothing to use. It does help me. So thank you again so very much, and I will be back. Bye.